Hello dear friends, in this session we are going to understand creating and using MongoDB cloud database. In our previous session we discussed about how to define index on CloudDB collections and how to improve the performance of retrieving the data from MongoDB collections. So in this session we are going to understand about how can we create a database on remote cloud server which is provided by the MongoDB. Atlas, which is one of the most power plan po popular cloud database. So we'll discuss how can we create a MongoDB database on cloud Atlas. Then we'll discuss about how can we register on MongoDB website for creating a cloud database. Then we'll understand how can we define the cluster for the creating cloud database. Then we'll discuss some of the basic permissions of accessing database and accessing the network or providing the cloud database on a particular machine or allowing access of cloud database on a particular machine. Then we'll discuss about how can we create database and collection on MongoDB Atlas on cloud server. And finally, we'll discuss how to connect that cloud database using MongoDB shell. So as we discuss, first we are going to understand about a cloud database and MongoDB Atlas. So MongoDB cloud services provide the powerful tool for data products. We can perform uh, many different operations on some cloud, cloud database provided by the MongoDB. With Atlas database, we can use database as a service for MongoDB. MongoDB Atlas is a multi-cloud developer plat data platform which is provided by the MongoDB and it is fully managed cloud database for modern applications. Any application can connect to the, that particular cloud database provided by this MongoDB website. We'll discuss how can we register on MongoDB website. For, for that, we need to create and verify the account. We, need, we have to create your own account on MongoDB website and you have to verify that account. Once you verify, you can log in on the Mongo, MongoDB website. Then we can define the clusters. Then you can specify some database access and network access permission. And finally, we create the database and collection on MongoDB Atlas. And then we'll discuss how can we connect to that database on MongoDB shell. So let's start. So for creating a MongoDB account, we just have to search for the MongoDB cloud on your browser. Then once you search for the MongoDB cloud, you have to log in on the MongoDB cloud website. So once you click on the MongoDB cloud, it will ask for the sign in. You just have to click on the sign in option which is there. Once you click on the sign in, sign in option, you can sign in either using your Google account or GitHub account or you can create your own account. So I'm going to show you how can we create our own account because I already use my Google account for login on the MongoDB website. So for that, I'm going to create one more account for creating and creating the MongoDB clusters and database on server so that you will be able to understand what are the different steps that we need to follow for registering the uh, registering on MongoDB website and providing the basic permissions to the database and accessing the database, right? So for that, I'm going to sign up on this particular website. So I'm using my uh, email ID. Okay. So once I specify the first name, last name and the password for this particular site on for registration, then I'm going to specify the name of the company for which I'm going to create the database. So once I click on this sign up option, I will receive a mail on this particular email ID. So I need to verify that email ID. So for verifying the email ID, 
I am going to log in on this log in on my email ID. So here I am logging on this particular website for accessing my email ID. So once I log in on this, I must have received the verification link there on that inbox. So once I click on this verification mail that is received from MongoDB website, I just have to click on the verify email button which is there in the email. So email successfully verified message is appearing on the screen. You just have to click on the continue option. After that, you successfully log in on the MongoDB website, means you have created your account on MongoDB website for creating a cloud database. So now you have to uh, answer some basic questions before continuing on that website. So what is the goal? What is your goal today? I am just selecting here explore what I can build or I am going to choose this learn MongoDB. Then what type of applications are, are you building? So I am just selecting I want to build some mobile based applications. So which language that I want to use for that? So I am choosing here Java. So I am going to finish. So after that it shows me the different plans of MongoDB. Uh, different different plans are there among that I am going to choose the free account so free shared plan I am going to use so here I am going to click on this create button once I click on this create button one cluster will be created for me on the particular server so here we need to choose the cloud provider and region the default cloud provider is AWS Amazon Web Service or you can choose Google Cloud or Azure. So by default AWS Cloud Service Server or Cloud Provider is selected here and that Cloud Provider is in Mumbai and uh, after that you can specify some additional steps. You can specify here a cluster name. The default cluster name is already specified here. I am keeping that cluster as it is. Cluster name as it is without making any modification on this particular step, I am going to click on this create cluster option. So after this particular verification step, my cluster will be created and then I move towards the next step. In the next steps, I have to define the username and password for my database. I just have to create database user here. So I am going to create user as DRS user1 and the same password that I am going to keep here. Okay. You can see the password here. DRS user I have specified. Then after that I am going to click on this create user button it shows the message the user is created successfully then we'll move towards uh, the cloud environment on which you want to collect that cloud database so here we need to specify the IP address on which you want to connect to this cloud database you can connect to this particular database from any client but you have to specify the IP address of that particular client you can use a MongoDB shell to connect to the cloud database as we have discussed in our previous session how can we use MongoDB shell we can use the same MongoDB shell for connecting to this cloud database also but we need to specify the IP address from which you want to connect to that cloud database using shell so here you can specify your IP address manually and you can specify your description of your manual 
uh, IP address or you can choose the option add my current IP address. So whatever the current IP address through which you are using uh, the internet connection on this particular machine. So whenever you are using the internet connection, a default static IP will be assigned to your machine. So if you want to use the current IP address that is assigned to your machine, you can choose this option add my current IP address or you can search for your IP address if you don't uh, know the IP address of your machine or internet IP address of your machine, you can directly search for my static IP and here you can find your static IP. Your static IP is 1.3.113.164.162. You can copy this particular IP address and paste there or you can directly specify or you can use this particular link add my current IP address here automatically it uh, automatically it read the current IP address. So this is the current IP address it has added when I click on this particular button this particular IP address is added here or you can specify the IP address that you want to add for connecting to that particular cloud server database. Then after completion of this particular step, you can click on this finish and close option. So almost all settings that is required for connecting to database we have completed. So you just have to click on this finish and close option. Then you can directly move towards the databases. So here you can specify some basic setting like that introducing termination uh, protection. This setting is used to uh, prevent any user from accidentally deleting your cluster, cluster whatever the cluster is created. If you want to set up this particular option, you can click on the setup and you can specify here termination protection. This no one will accidentally terminate or delete this particular cluster means your database will not be deleted accidentally if you specify this particular setting. And then I am going to click on this review setting option and after that I need to apply this particular setting. So after that, once I apply this particular setting, I can directly move over the collections. So here you can directly connect this particular database from any remote shell. But before connecting to this database, we will first create the uh, database and we will create one collection into that. So for that, I am going to click on this browse collection option. So when I click on this browse collection option, it will display me the existing data which is there in the cluster. There is no data available in this cluster. I can load the sample data from any external data set or I can directly add my own data here. So when I click on this add own data button, it will display me the a window on which I can specify the database name. So here I am going to specify the database name as student db and I am going to specify the collection name as student. After that I am going to click on this create option. So now it has created the student db database and inside it it has created the stud collection. Now we can insert the record, insert the document into this stud collection. So here is the option to insert the insert the document into this collection. So insert document. When I click on this insert document, a new window will appear. From this new window, you can specify here the key. Suppose I am specifying the key as roll number and then the value of this key is 10. I can change the data type as in 32. Then to add one more key or one more field into this database, I can choose this particular option. So I am using here name and then I am specifying the name value of this key as RAM keeping the data type as string again I am adding one more field into this document specifying percentage and then keeping the percentage as integer so for that I am changing the data database data type as in32 so in this 
way you can define the collection as per your require define the, you can insert the document into the collection as per the requirement so when i click on this insert option one document will be added here like that you can insert number of document as per your requirement so after that we have seen how can we create a collection how can we insert a document on cloud database now we'll see how can we connect this remote database from our local mongodb shell that we have installed in our machine in our machine we have installed the local mongodb shell and from this local mongodb shell we want to connect to this cloud database and we want to perform some insert operation and find operation uh, on this particular cloud database and then we will see whether the changes are reflecting when we perform some changes on local machine those changes are reflected on cloud or when we perform some changes on cloud database those change, those data will be available in a local machine or local mongodb shell so let's see how can we connect to the uh, this particular mongodb cloud database from mongodb shell so for that so here you have to specify this you have to select this particular option databases once you click on the databases option you can find here the name of the cluster then after that you can find here the connect button once you click on this connect button you can get the different option for connecting to this particular database so here you can directly connect with the mongodb shell you can connect your application connect using mongodb compass if you want to perform some uh, if you want to design some application using particular programming language you can directly get the connection string for connecting to the database in your program initially we'll discuss how can we connect to this database using mongodb shell so for that i am going to choose this particular option connect with the mongodb shell so once i click on this i will get this particular option i am connecting connecting to this particular cluster then i need to specify here whether i have a mongodb shell installed yes i have a mongodb shell installed if the no shell is installed you can download it and you can install it then you have to select the mongodb shell version so there are different versions are listed here we can choose here 3.4 or earlier or you can check the uh, version of your shell that you have installed using the mongodb shell dash dash version command so this is the command to check the version of your mongodb shell you can check the mongodb version mongodb shell version on command prompt okay so i am selecting my mongodb shell version is 1.6 that's why i have selected this particular option 3.4 or earlier now i have getting this particular connection string or command for connecting to this particular cloud database from mongodb shell so we need to copy this particular string in this string you have to specify the password user is already added in here the same password we have select specified for this particular user and then you have to specify the name of the database to which you want to connect so i am select copying this particular string so here the copy option is there now after that i am going to close this particular option and i am moving toward the mongodb shell so here currently i am in command prompt and i can use the command that we have copied from this particular website so here i am simply pasting that particular command in that we need to change the password drs user 1 is the password of of this particular user then we have to change the name of the database name of the database that we have created is just now we have created the database student db student db is the database that we have created okay then uh there is no any other changes that you have to perform 
So command is mongodb. Okay, mongodb in my machine. There is mongodb shell mongo sh mongo sh is my command. Mongo sh is the command that I have to use. Now I am going to hit the enter and we will see whether this particular command connect to the cloud database or not. So when I hit the enter key, it shows the message that current Mongo SH login ID is this particular connecting this connecting to this particular cloud database which MongoDB's version that particular shell is using and what is the version of MongoDB, Mongo SH, Mongo shell and now we have connected to this Atlas cloud database a student DB that we have created there now we can check the databases available there we can use the command show dbs so these are the three databases available student db we have created admin and local are the default databases available on atlas cloud server now we'll see the collections available in the student table now i'm going to show you the collections in the collections show collection is a command collection in the student db so study is a collection that we have created on website so it listing here now i want to get the records available from this collection so i can simply use the command as db dot stood dot find once i hit this particular command I can get the record that is available or that we have inserted on the cloud server we can see here we can see here when I click on this browse collection button on this particular website I can get the record here 10 RAM and 90 10 RAM and 90 the same record that we have getting on this shell on local machine now suppose I want to insert one more record and we want to see whether this record is inserted on cloud server or not. So for that I am using the command for inserting the new record, new document into this collection. So here db dot stood dot insert in a function bracket we have to specify this curly bracket then roll number and specifying here as 12 then the name that I am using here as Dutch and then percentage I want to specify as 80 we will see whether this particular record inserts on the database it shows the message acknowledge true we will insert one more record to see the result there I am inserting one more document and specifying the roll number as 30 name as run v and uh, percentage as 95 okay now we'll see whether this particular record these two particular records are added on this server or not we'll see here and uh, we will click on this apply option now it loading the documents you can see here the record that we have inserted on mongodb shell on local machine is displayed here so in this way we can manage the cloud database on remote MongoDB shell okay that is the most important database MongoDB Atlas is one of the most powerful cloud serve cloud database that you can easily manage and access from your local machine I hope you understand the basic concept that I have explained on this video thank you